welcome back to the shop today we're looking after the late bearings um, as I mentioned in the earlier video um, the main bearings are a little bit stiff at some point so I want to have a look inside uh, and see how it looks like I never took one of these apart so it should be just that not come off here and these two nuts are basically tensioning the spindle bearings so if everything goes well that should just come apart but you never know it's one of these common Chinese lathes uh, they come in different flavors, different names essentially it's always the same thing, I, th I think. I think that bottom gear needs to come off first. There's nothing close to that. Sorry for the noise, but it's cold here, so the heater, the heater is running. It makes a bit of a noise here. So that key sits underneath, so that needs to come off here. <coughs> I don't have any drawings, so I don't really know how it comes apart. Uh, maybe that comes off with just a nut here. That could have been easier. Just take it out rather than dismantling it. Okay, so that's out of the way. We still need to get that uh, part moved here. And I don't know how it looks inside, so I don't want to destroy anything. It hasn't loosened up, so that's got to come out somehow. That looks like it has worked on it here. The pulley is cast iron, I believe. And it was sort of loose. So it left some smear here. So we need to get that off here. Try it this way first. I don't know if that works, but I can give it a try. Should it be good enough? Okay, it's not directional, so it's fine. So now we should be able to get that key out. Yeah. I 
and the key is actually stopping it from slipping in. So still have moved. This one got some paint on it here. <laughs> it's interesting. It's not a nut. What I know is if, you, if I tension the nuts, it's actually tensioning the bearing. So this, uh, it's moving. So this comes out. That's fine. Okay. I don't know if that's visible, but. Uh, that grease looks really weird. There's no snap ring. <coughs> so what it needs is basically just pushing the whole thing out, the whole spindle, uh, and the inner race goes this way. I'm gonna take the chuck off first. I need to do the core. the whole thing a bit lighter it's got to come out this way because that's one piece so give it a whack here and uh, see how far it goes there you go that was a plastic hammer and Big one on the back. So that's how it looks like. And let's check how the race is look, looking like. How the spindle looks like. It seems to be some sort of gasket. Some weird grease in there. I don't know what it is. It's. It almost looks like the grease is contaminated with water. Uh, on the back. Just another workshop project to make some proper clamps for the lights. doesn't look too bad either. Right. There is clearly some marks on it. What's interesting is that there is a little 
rule from that one. That's right at the back there is a the ridge. So it's quite possible that this has been running with too much tension for a while. There's O two hundred seven ten T no sorry O two hundred seven ten seven E and this is SG whatever that is ah Chinese for sure these two not heat roll it's a noisy Uh, I think <laughs> by the look at the rolls it has some considerable wear uh, I wouldn't denote those as new anymore so what I do I take some measurements and see if I can get some new ones they are I don't believe they are something special maybe I can get something better as we now know how it comes apart it should be relatively easy so what I'll do I'll give it a clean also this end give it a decent clean give it a decent clean and put some new grease in and that should be good to go for now at least um, I will I, I just don't like the wear pattern on the bearing surface here don't know if that's visible there is some wear marks which don't look very good and there is there is a noticeable ridge at the end which doesn't feel normal for a taper roller bearing it's got minor play in the spindle we had minor play in the spindle it was about 200 of a millimeter I was hoping I can get rid of it but uh, can't tension those anymore because it just increases the rubbing on that on that ridge at the end I think I think the whole the whole surface has a, a little bow that's how it looks like so the, the bearing was was basically sweating on the back side rather than the front. Don't know if that's visible on the video, but uh, there are some scratches and wear marks in it. So yeah, not necessarily success, but uh, we know at least what's wrong. Well, we're gonna give it some grease and uh, put it back together, take some measurements first and see if we can organize some new bearings and we're gonna make another video of replacing the bearings eventually um, I need to turn some stuff and I just wanted to know what's wrong with it because now it's cold and it's getting worse so I wasn't sure if there's something really bad going on inside or not but um, at present I wouldn't say that's concerning it's just Chinese quality um, I did a lot of work on this lathe I, I scraped the cross slide and the top slide uh, because I had massive chatter issues on the top slide that's now all gone, it's all tight, nice and it, it, you can move it back and forth with no binding I've taken some pictures, I didn't take any video when I did that uh, it was before the time I was doing videos but uh, basically it, it feel, there is still a lot of backlash here but uh, it feels a lot tighter, it doesn't chatter anymore um, it's a toy I'm looking for something bigger since I got a bigger workshop now uh, but at the moment that's what I have and obviously that other Chinese one
Okay, we cleaned it <clears throat> and um, put some MOS2 loaded grease on it. It's actually CV joint bearing uh, grease for cars. It should be okay. I use that for pretty much everything. And that ring here apparently goes somehow into it. That seems to be a thing we need to pry that in once the bearing is in. Yeah, once the bearing is loaded we can we can push that ring in with two screwdrivers. So get some grease on that. I cleaned them as good as I could. There's no, there's no hard, there's no hard spots, no tight spots. It's just I just loaded with grease <coughs> and uh, it should do it. measured it it's 35 by 62 taper roller bearings um, 0200 70 sorry 0200 7107e I briefly looked it up on the internet uh, I couldn't find anything on the fly so that just goes back on here and apparently that needs to be driven on somehow I was just holding the spindle with my body, so I'm going to fill it up with some more grease because the grease can actually go inside, so there's plenty of room in the headstock. just holding it in with a tool post and a tool post lock because it needs to go in a little bit further That's going if the bits are too tight we can just use some uh, 
uh, well, I just heated up a little bit. I need to shoot the slip on it. I just need to check if that bearing goes still in here. Yeah, someone, someone thought about it. I put that back together here, and that goes here. So now for the spindle nuts. Interesting, there's no washer underneath. What we try to achieve is no play and no binding, which can be a bit of a challenge, but uh, we'll give our best. So at the moment we have play. I may need to put the chuck on this so I can't actually, can actually grab it. Well, first, I need to try that uh, that little ring here is some sort of seal, and we need to pry that back in. I think I do that with the. Uh, Two screwdrivers. Yeah, I think it's just an oil seal. It doesn't really do anything. Okay, after we're done, we've still got play. That's a thousand indicator. Thousand of a millimeter. So we need to tighten up a little bit. I think better. So I'm just tightening this uh, nut to the back until the play is gone. Still a fair amount of play here. Yeah? Yeah. There's not much feel in the nut because the the bearing race needs to be pushed on at the same time. So What we basically, we'll basically do is just pushing the bearing race onto the spindle. So that's needs a bit more, but uh, we're getting there. It's still running smooth. No binding. So the fresh grease may have helped a little bit. Let's get another quarter of a turn here. It feels a bit tighter now. We're gonna check for tightness in a minute. All I want to make sure is this the play is gone. I 
few spins just to distribute the grease and then kind of tighten it up but there is no more there's no more spot which binds so whatever we did it helped That was probably two degrees turn. It feels okay. Uh, there is some torque required to run it, but it feels good and there is no play. So I think I'll leave it with that. It's what you normally do, you, you use a super sensitive torque measurement device or a torque wrench and just push the thing round and measure the torque as you do with a differential or something like that basically just measuring the drag torque um, but what I can see here it feels the same all round and tap taper roller bearings need some tension otherwise they, they got play Another few turns here. I'll give it another try. That's the machine. <laughs> I'm absolutely happy with that. But you see these Chinese machines, if you whack the machine around, the indicator is moving. The, the, the saddle is actually locked. That's what the machine does. So far, to rigidity. <laughs> um, okay, let's see what we get here. One hundred of a millimeter. I can live with that. And there is there's no whatever you do on the spindle. That, uh, that whatever you do on the spindle, it doesn't really move. So I'm happy with that. <clears throat> let's get the belt back on and give it a spin and check it again after it's warm um, I call that successful for now put this back on Sounds better than before. Feels smooth. Just squirting oil because I oil everything because the workshop is pretty cold and everything starts rusting here. Um. Still feels good. So let's check it again. If it's still fine, I'm happy with it. Still don't have any axial play. Run out is about the same, so but there is a bit of play in this direction. I think I'll leave it this way um, because if the whole thing gets warm, if the headstock gets warm, uh, there will be some more tension. And I like I like the feeling because it's so it feels feels very smooth. I think it was never as good as this.
Let's call that a successful provisional repair until we get the new bearings. I still would like some new bearings. Uh, then at least that gets me going and I feel a lot better knowing what's what's actually going inside and yeah I could before I could really feel it was binding at some point maybe it was just some debris inside but uh, I think that's as good as you can get it with that machine which um, will be replaced at some point so we call that job done I'm happy with the results. Till next time.